pollution, the introduction of matter, which is adverse effect into the environment, is one of the major contributors to global warming, an issue which has raised concerns all over the world for many years. The two of the major causes of pollution are excess production of waste and exploitation of natural resources. One of the best ways to reduce the excessive production of waste and lower the amount of natural resources used is a circular what city. Is a circular city. A circular city in brief is one that eliminates waste, keeps goods and their ingredients in use and regenerates natural systems. By adopting a circular approach, a city explores on how to efficiently share, reuse, remanufacture, better recycle and recover. Here is how you build a circular city. The plan. The ordinance of cities changes the way materials and products move around. Instead of throwing away materials, a new distributed system of resource management, nutrient flow and reverse logistics makes the return, sorting and reuse of products possible. Valuable land which has been unused can be repurposed into parks, offices or green spaces. The framing of the city. Products and parts are created on demand and on site, transforming construction methods and storage needs. Buildings, vehicles, and products are assembled using techniques that design out waste. Operating and maintaining a circular city. The process of refurbishing and repairing occur at the individual, community, and commercial level. Vehicles and infrastructure, roads to streetlights, are operated and maintained so that materials, energy, and water are used effectively and can be reused and recycled. We, as individuals, can reduce pollution by following the main concept of a circular city, reutilization. Here is an idea made by us, a machine that can clean rivers. This machine is made out of the waste aluminum cans and foils that are thrown out by tons on a daily basis. This machine is used to remove waste from the river. On either side of the river, there are two steel railings. It consists of two barricades made of aluminum covering the width and depth of the river. The first barricade has large holes through which the water and waste can go through, but not the toxic sludge. The second barricade has smaller holes through which the water can go through, but not the waste. The garbage between the first barricade and the second barricade is cleaned periodically. The waste collected is then sent to a storage box where it is processed accordingly. Here is an image of how the harvester would look in real life. 